you mind? Do you, <laughs> do you mind? Do you mind? Okay, so. Hello everyone, it's Miranda from Britsent here. Although the tube is the best way to travel around London, sometimes you will have to take the bus. With the technology we have nowadays, you don't normally need to ask for directions or ask which bus you have to take. So today, I'll be teaching you some really practical language that you might actually use when you're taking the bus. Firstly, let's take a look at some useful words and related phrases. Deck. Deck just means the floor of a bus. In England, we have single decker and our iconic double decker buses. A double decker bus has a lower deck and an upper deck. Top up. Most people in London use an Oyster card to take the public transport. Make sure you get one because the buses don't take cash. When you put money on the card, you top it up. To top up just means to refill something to the required amount. Take. When students first learn English, they are often taught to use the word buy with modes of transport, by bus or by train. This is fine, it's grammatically correct, but if you want to sound more natural, see if you can use the word take with public transport. So for example, instead of saying, I went to work by bus, I would say, I took the bus to work. Diversion. Sometimes, Buses in London are diverted. This means that they are still going to the same final destination, but they are taking a different route. If your bus is diverted, you can ask the driver, are you still going to your stop? So for example, are you still going to Chancery Lane? Next, let's take a look at how to say bus numbers. Now, you can read out the numbers as normal if you like. So, you could say 371, but it sounds a lot more natural to say 371. For any number up to 100, or for multiples of 100, so 200, 300, 400, we say the full number, but otherwise, we say each figure separately. See if you can say these numbers out loud. 102, 67, 200, 689, 344, N87. N means that it's a night bus which runs until the morning. Especially useful if you're staying out late. Now, when you're traveling around London, you will sometimes have to talk to other passengers. For example, if a bus or a train is too crowded for more passengers to get on, but you can see that there's some more space further down, you can say, could you move further in? Or, could you move down? If you need to get off a crowded bus or train, remember to always be polite, even if you're in a hurry. You can say, could I get through please? Or you can just say, excuse me. Speaking of being polite, if you ever need to offer your seat to someone who is less able to stand, then you can simply say, would you like to sit down? Or, would you like my seat? Finally, there are always going to be some people who are rude on public transport. They might push you or leave their bag on a seat in a crowded bus or even look at you or touch you inappropriately. Instead of staying quiet, 
a great phrase to use for any of these scenarios is, do you mind? The intonation is quite important here. So don't say, do you mind? Say, do you mind? Another phrase, which is very similar, and you would use it with the same intonation, is, could you not? Do you mind? Could you not? <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> Well, that's all from me today. I hope this video helps you next time you're out taking the bus or other public transport around London. If you want to improve your English so you're ready for any situation, then sign up to BritScent for one-to-one -one lessons, either face-to-face -face or online. We also offer high-quality editing and Korean to English translation services as well. So check out our website for more details. Thanks for watching and bye for now. See you next time. Do you mind? This was mm. Yeah. Do you mind? Do you mind? Do you, <laughs> do you mind? Do you mind? Okay, so. <laughs>